first of all, we're going to be root for this. So now we're root at murder. We're going to do a scan. Now, I should have. A, yeah, here's the scan already implemented. We're scanning my local range. And here we go. And as you can see, we've been scanning the SS. H service and as I already know this because I found it earlier we have an open port on this address so what we're going to do now is we're going to do a netcat scan on this address as you can see that's basically the command we've entered The netcat is now scanning. As you can see, it's found port 22 open. So it's only just reached port 22. It's a bit of a drag, but you know. Right, we're going to cancel this because it's taking too long and this has got to be a short video. So basically we know port 22 is open, so now we can now uh, as you can see I've entered the SSH command, this is all from Linux, Fedora Core 8. I think I've entered the address correctly. No, I haven't. I entered the wrong address. And here we go. It's asking for the root password. Now this is where you can actually find out the root password by brute forcing it using several different programs. If you just do a search for brute force, password cracker, brute force. Now I'm not exactly going to enter here because it's illegal. So I'm going to press enter. Permission denied. Please try again. So I've shown you some light like, scans and some, but if we look over here, this is a program called Putty. It runs on Windows, and it just basically runs on Windows, and it's a secure shell for Windows. It's called Putty, P-U-T-T. -T 
Y and you can download it for Windows. So if we enter in the same address leave all the default settings intact we haven't altered any of the default settings I'm entering the wrong bloody address again right press enter and there we go it asks you to accept the key and log in as root and it asks you for the root password and there you go, you're logged in as a root. If you see the up, now actually at the base of the system, where you've got bin, dev, lost and found, media, boots, etc. Mount, and that's it. That's basically. Um, you know, how to scan and how to do stuff on the computer. It's like Pussy down there, you know, it's called Pussy, that's on Windows. So you can get that for your Windows box. But I prefer, you know, this Linux stuff over here. You know, with Netcat, Nmap. Shame that Netcat didn't exactly scan, but Nmap's alright. If you get the commands right. 